experiments the other day with uh, the humble acrylics. I thought I'd give them another go. Now, I, I liked them. I did like them. But I've got a lot of these tiny little pots. They're the starter pack ones. And uh, I've got my blue tits, birds, what wildlife birds to do with a blue wing top. I thought, hang on a minute, let's, let's see if I've got anything in there to do it with. So I found two pots of number 25 blue. I've dispensed them into a Tamiya jar. Now, they're the same amount. Two pots is the same as a Tamiya jar. Um, and what I've done with this one is, I, I tried an experiment first now. This is actually diluted with water, as I did before, and it came out quite, yeah, it came out very nice. I couldn't tell the difference between the water and the, the unthin one. Um, the only thing I did notice when I'd done that, so I'll just turn my compressor off. The only thing I noticed when I actually did that, I did it all at 20 PSI. Neat. It took a lot more to come out of the airbrush and atomize, but it did did work at 20. Really, I should have put it up about 25 psi. So there's a little uh, addition to it. I, I should have put it on the video, but I didn't. So I'm sorry for that. And I'm, I'm telling you now. The water one, 20, was fine, perfect. Okay. Um, clear pledge. If you saw the photograph, but you saw it was rather thin. Um, I wouldn't have. I've thinned it down at fifty percent, the same as the water. Is, so give a fair test right across the board. But really, twenty-five, thirty percent of pledge to paint. That would be ample. That would still spray beautifully. It would spray like the the others did on the video. So what I did with this one is water but only at two tubs of paint with one tub of water in here to keep it thicker. Uh, I'm giving it a good mix up now in here and I'm just going to give it a spray and I've done one lot already just to check to see, make sure it's all working fine. Now I've only kept the small colour cup on there so I might be refilling it a lot of times to do this but I thought I'd put this on tape because what I've seen I don't believe, I really don't believe. So, I'm just going to move the camera so you can see what I've been Okay. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but this spray pattern here, this first one, was sprayed at 15 psi with this one, which is um, basically uh, uh, it's a, a two to one mix on this one. Two of paint, one of water. It's, it's it's fine. It's great. You know, the spray pattern's good. There's no speckling or nothing. So I turn the air pressure down to 12 PSI. Uh, no, 10 PSI. Sorry, 10 PSI. And I've I done the spray with it. That It came out again. But it's a bit more speckly. And when I actually put it onto the, the model part, on the model part, it's very speckly. So 12 PSI, uh, 10 PSI is too low. I'm just going to try this at 12 psi and I'll do it over this side. Oops. So any trouble with those parts, they never want to stay on. Uh, and at 12 psi, it, uh, it does still spray at the 2 to 1 mix, as you can see here. Pull back on the trigger a little bit more. That's nice, and that gives a nice soft edge to the pattern, and it also it also covers it. So if I just do this bit of the wing again here, and that covers it nicely. That really does cover it nicely. Got lighter at this end here because I want that a greenish colour. And heavier down this end. Keep it in with the blue. 
that hasn't worked. Okay, so well, the, the paint's working. It's just what I, 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 I thought might happen, um, but it didn't. So back to the drawing board with that particular part. I thought I'd put yellow on there and then spray a, a light bl a blue, very lightly over the top. It'll turn it green. It didn't do. It just turned it. It just turned it to the blue again as well. So the part there. I need a little bit more on there, but I think you can see there, hopefully you can. I can't see it on the monitor. Oh yes, I can, there it is. You can see it's covered well, and that's only at 12 PSI, so very low air pressure with a two to one mix. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to use a lot of this because it's, I've only got the small cup on here. I don't want to put a whole big lump of it in there. Uh, Literally only about four brushfuls. And there we have it. You see, now that's at 12 psi, and I'm getting a lovely, be beautiful line on there. With a little bit of practice, these are going to be as good as Tamiya. The only thing I will say is Tamiya don't need to practice with. You can get this. Uh, almost first time, you can take a pot of Tamiya and do this sort of stuff with that. Uh, the humble ones are taking that little bit longer to learn how to use. Or maybe it's just that I've used Tamiya now for the last three years and I've got used to using this. And it's gonna take me a little while to get used to using these ones. But really, you can't ask for anything more than that. I'm going to do these wings here. I'm trying to do them lightly because I want to. Uh, I want to keep some of the background colour coming through. And hopefully, I can do that. That's why. I, that's why I post shaded these ones. I'm hardly pulling back on the trigger for paint. We've got full air on it. I'm just pulling back a tiny amount for the for the blue. A little bit heavier along those wing lines there. around the front end of the wheel. Well look at this. It seems to have a, on the pictures I've got, the front of the wing seems to be very heavily blue. Um, probably the concentration of the feathers at that particular point. And then it, it, it lightens off. I'm gonna have to do a green on there. It, it's not exactly working properly. So I'm gonna have to do the back with the green. Uh, I'll do that yellow and then I'll uh, give a light coating of uh, green uh, over the top of the yellow that I've been doing. Well, It doesn't seem to be using a great deal of paint to cover these either. They're very... Oh, it may be just me. I've been using a lot of metalizers recently and uh, they do take a lot uh, of paint to cover. I have noticed the birds are actually quite grey, pale grey underneath. I'm just doing that 
that one there. The majority of the wing underneath is actually grey, so I'm not going to do too much on that. Uh, but the tail section I need to do. Uh, and there we have it. One blue tip done. Now I've got to do the other one. are quite challenging to get hold uh, to do because of the, uh, the nature of uh, birds. Uh, they're alive and uh, really if you want to you don't want to keep a hard edge on anything on a bird or uh, well any animal really unless it's a man-made part of the uh, the animal um, like a saddle or something like that, or a blank, saddle blanket on a horse. That you can keep hard, but I'll, I'll put some shots up of some of the blue tits I've got, uh, pictures of them, and I'll show you what I mean. They really are quite straggly, some of them. So, a little bit of fading on the old airbrush. Doesn't go amiss. If paints bleed into one another, and uh, it's not quite perfect, it doesn't matter. Not on a not on a wildlife animal. Actually, the more random it is, the better it is. A lot of times. Okay. Now you've seen this being sprayed just now. As you can see, the pre-shading has come through very well. Even the definition of the the feathers coming down it's come through beautifully it's just what I wanted that's fine uh, I just wanted to say that because I'm using Tamiya pots here they're not Tamiya these are the actual starter ones they're this size two of these equal one of these so and uh, one pot of that water in here mixed up a two to one mix nice and easy you might not have two pots of the paint you want to use so basically it's one pot of paint half a pot of water that's my ratio that's what I use it works in my airbrush it might not on yours so be careful check it out see what you think you might want to add some water or you might not want to add too you don't want to add that much water it's up to you again pledge clear I didn't say this in the other uh, video but I did this at 50% same as the water I should have only done this at 25 to 30% of this to paint because uh, it came out a lot thinner this thins, of, this thins paint a great deal more than what water or even thinner does so and just bear it in mind when you're using pledge don't use so much uh, just keep putting it in until you till you find the right ratio between paint and pledge floor shine that you want to use uh, I can only tell you what I use and it works in my airbrush but it might not work in yours that's just a little warning I want to tell you to me a jars as I said Keep your painting. This one, like you've already been seeing on here, is two pots of 25 with one pot of water in it mixed up. This this will, this will take me ages to get used uh, to use up. Um, another thing about these jars is if you've got a airbrush, one of the cheap ones, the five pound, ten pound ones that you get from the model shop or even the market, the badger ones. You see them all over the place. So, I, I don't know where they sell them from, but they, even market stalls have badger airbrushes on them. And a little cheap £5 one with a bottom jar uh, that's um, suction fed. These jars fit those airbrushes. So if you break a jar, you can use one of these. Or alternatively, mix them up already to... Uh, um, a spray consistency like this then all you need to do is pick the jar with the colour you want take the top off screw it on and away you go nice and easy so it is worthwhile keeping hold of these these are glass and I double recycle mine 
First, I use them, and when they finally give out, or I can't use them anymore, but maybe I've dropped it and smashed it, whatever, it goes into the recycle bin and gets recycled for glass again. So, very useful items. Okay, here's the two birds now. I've done the green on the back. I didn't bother videoing um, me spraying it. It's not worth it. I don't know whether you can see in this uh, video, but the yellow is just coming through on the backs of the birds. So, there. That is basically what I wanted them to come through as. I'm using all the pictures and picking the best bits out of each of the pictures to paint the birds up with. This bird here, you can see the green pot of paint just in that tray there. Um, I mixed that from the blue and yellow that I had and uh, made up a nice little green. Uh, but I've used a tiny little pot because I didn't need a great deal. These two birds with the green only used basically I had put put half a cup of this and done it for that one and that one so it took very little but I could use that green for other things like the tree over here and the base um, I've darkened down the bright green so I've got I've got about three different tones of greens on that now I can start putting the grass on there I've got some long pieces of um, dried grass that I'll put on the base as well, sticking up a bit. Right, I've got to get on with the underside now. The top side's completed, so i just got to break this down to a, a bit paler yellow. I've got to put a black stripe down here and finish off with the white. wing parts for the other bird. I've re whitened them and I've given them a little bit of tonal value to do the same as I've got on this one. Uh, I, I sprayed them a little bit too heavily when I was trying out the paint, so I've redone those again. Right now, I've done the tree and I've used black and a little touch of brown, very weakened down mixture again, giving it a light spray over so that the bottom colour comes through. The, bl the black on the white has turned it a, a, a nice grey and I've sprayed right over everything, even including the greens and the blacks here and they've come through the translucent of the paint or translucency of the paint that I've been putting down with a weaker mix and uh, it's come out really nice. I've still got to do some of the end branches this, the yellow still coming through where I, I sprayed some of the green and yellow on. I've, well, I've done the yellow first and then I put the green over the top to make it a little bit brighter, a little bit. And then I sprayed over the top of some of the leaves with black to darken them down. So, like, you've got new shoots coming out of the tree. A lot of these branches at the end here will actually be more brown than uh, the grey version of them. The simple fact of the matter is if you look at a tree, the old trunks, the, the older branches, they're all grey in colour. They're not brown like a children's picture. So I'll try to get more realistic effect on this particular tree stump. Now, the base. I've done the greens on there and they look fine. Um, I might put a little bit of uh, brown earth tone into some of the... Uh, bits on it um, there's there's some cracks in the ground here where I think maybe the grass has been pulled away for some reason maybe a fox has tried to dig up a worm there or something like that uh, or birds have been at it I'm going to go over all the rocks with again a 70% wash of light grey I might even put some uh, a little dab of white in it and then go back over in certain places with the white to make it lighter again I could put some black in it make it darker and go over the plate go over a few places again just to give that fractional tone but I think with the yellow and the green on here and a touch of black in places 
it might do it with one pass I don't know I'm going to see if it does if it does I will show you and tell you but if I have to go back over and put some light areas on it and that I will do that also what I'll do is on some of the rocks I will add the brown to make it a lot more brownier mix and do some of the other stones brown I might do like these three here brown and the rest I'll do grey um, so for the simple fact is that stones aren't all grey um, they are browns they, 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 they are grey uh, in different shades as well so I, I can make myself up a base that looks pretty well realistic after that I will do some grass on the grass areas I'll put some glue down and I'll put some scatter grass down on this I also use this brush now I bought this brush I can't remember how much it was 199 I think but I bought it for the bristles I didn't buy it for brushing up places and I've already chopped some off of here to do my railway with but if I take a, these are all in stuck in the brush. I don't know where I can get these out actually. Sometimes you can. No, I can't. What I'll do is to keep these together at the moment. I'll need a little bit of tape because you don't want them going all over the place. And we'll pick a bunch out here. Make sure we have just that one bunch. And I'll put the tape around the bottom here. Hopefully I can get it on here, get, get down there. Oh, there's one up there, there's a knife there. I'll take a knife and I'll just trim off what I need. I don't need this much, I usually only just trim off a few hairs. But to give you some idea, I'll trim that off. And there we have a bunch of brown grass, long brown grass. I want just maybe... I'll take out like a, a, a few of these here and I will glue the ends together down here. Now I'm going to just use tape for this at the moment just to give you some idea of what I'm actually going to be doing uh, if I can and there. This is how I do it on the railway as well, my layout. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a, some glue on the bottom and a piece of tape and then I'll drill out a hole and I can put these in and there we have a nice garden tree maybe something like that I can spray it blue I can spray it green whatever I can spray some glue over the top of this and now I know you some people don't believe you, but you can actually spray white wood glue onto these and then put some scatter material over the top and rotate this at the same time. And then if you turn it upside down and give it a spin, get the loose stuff off, see? And then the top of the tree here will have some green buds on it, green um, leaves, depending on what size of scatter you put on here. And you can make up your trees. But in this case, as this is a one-to-one -one scale, that is tall grass. And I can uh, have this put on here, wherever it goes, and just have a look around. See where I'll, I might be able to put a, a tall piece of grass in here. Um, I could put probably another one here, or another bunch of them here, and again here, to make this into a more realistic base again I don't have to have them this high I could cut these off down to about here or even down to about here just have short clumps of grass coming out the base uh, again I can I can paint them green I could spray them green actually it's a way I normally do it and that way if I'm spraying the green on it some gets green and the brown someone stays brown so it gives a nice effect and just by drilling a small hole and putting a, a blob of glue in glue it in there and uh, by the time you put the scatter material on here you won't see where you've joined 
the grass to the base. Right now, on the birds, what I've done is again a very weak mix of, of grey and I've given it a light spray over the yellow and as you can see here it's toned the yellow right back and here's, here's, the, here's the picture as you can see here this is what they're like and this is how they come out so it, it's there now I'm just about to do the grey on the wings is my next job I've got something on there, what is that? Oh, nothing uh, I've done that on both of them the underside section here I've actually gone over uh, a second time and a third time to, to really whiten down the belly of the bird again you can see in the pictures a lot of them have white bellies um, only the youngsters have the yellowy down all over and even their heads are yellowy uh, are the same sort of yellow the young and the very young chicks uh, the coloration hasn't come through it doesn't come through until they're ad more adult and uh, I put a black line down this here and I put a well I didn't do it up this side but I just done it up one side um, on one of the birds it seems to kink over I don't know why but it kinks over and it looks good and I've used that particular one on this bird on this bird here as you can see again I've done the white tone down the centre of it or the grey tone I should say um, but one bird had a very pronounced black stripe down here like a, um, a query mark I thought well, use us. I like that I'll put it on the I'll put it on this one now that's done again I'm gonna go on and do the grey underneath these wings. right until I see you again keep up the modeling got any questions put them in the comments please and I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer them for you so until I see you again it's from company it's goodbye for me it's goodbye see you all soon bye for now